with that one we've got another story courtesy of no jumper featuring blueface and dj academics which i think is hilarious and to me is another indication or is another kind of validation of what i was saying prior when i mentioned this podcast before that i lost the fight in the most embarrassing way possible when i was in secondary school and i've been like 14 or 15 to the point where i was fighting somebody and i was clearly losing and he was getting the best of me and i just ran like it was after a football game, I just started running and everyone was chasing me. Like, you know, stop, where are you going? And I literally ran all the way back home. I think I must have been in like Wanstead Flats and I ran all the way back home to where I used to live, like Custom House, Canning Town, which is a long distance, running, running with my flipping JD sports bag on my back, slapping my chest, slapping my back, sorry, and my whole entire shirt drenched in sweat and fear, all that stuff. And I remember um, the next day coming back to school feeling so embarrassed feeling so emasculated that I flipping ran away and bitched out on a fight like that and it got to a point where it was eating away at me so much that later on in life I decided to do martial arts I do a bit of boxing a bit of you know um, a bit of flipping uh, what's it called a little bit of kickboxing and whatnot so I had to watch a lot of UFC and then what happened and again I only realized it while doing the pod and explaining the situation is I started to realize I started to, I started to get into a lot of fights I'd get into a lot of fights outside, like especially when I used to go out loads of times around Dawson. I'd get in these random fights that no one would see. One time I actually got into a fight at the Alibi one time. I think it was actually friends of a friend of a friend who I don't really talk to too much now at the moment. But I remember he must have come through to the party with some friends of his who, if I imagine at the time, were boxers. Like they were legit boxers like that went and did it for somewhat fun and somewhat amateur. And they lit me up. But I was still standing there swinging, still going through, going, yeah, come on, come on, like not moving. Like I didn't want to move. I was basically a pinata, all right? They were just teeing off on me and I was swinging and missing like because I was drunk and high off flipping MDMA and drugs and whatnot. But I just wanted to basically prove that I could stand there in the pocket and not get bitched out. And then some other time also, again, so imagine all these fights I got in. Some other time I remember getting to a fight after a, a night out again, I was crossing the road somewhere and this guy in a car, I think it might have been around Bethnal Green area so some Asian dude in a car did something and I must have did the same you know the thing that everyone does when you're trying to be bad boy in the streets and try and fight people in cars you punch it you kick the flipping cars it runs by it so it must have either clipped me or come close to clipping me and I kicked the door or something and the dude pulled over and said what the fuck you did with my, my thing and then he came over to me and started talking so I started shouting and I just bam decked him in the face and then we just started swinging we started fighting in the street just randomly just two men that didn't know each other two seconds ago, we started getting into a full fight, and I'm there in my full Dawson outfit, skinny jeans, Dr. Martin's on, um, you know, band t-shirt, just like swinging at this guy, with a bandana on probably, and he's like just some Asian dude wearing his flipping Moss Bros suit, Zara suit, neck suit, whatever he's doing, on the way to finger bang, his flipping lovely little Desi misses, right? And we're in the street, swinging, fighting in the street, I don't know who won, if I remember correctly, I think I might have dropped him one, twice and he dropped me once. I think so. But again, dropping, I'm not sure if that counts in terms of fight, winning street fights. I feel like someone has to really submit and stop. I don't think just because someone drops you, you've lost. I know for me, I, I remember being in the fight where I beat this guy up in school and then he, man, he managed to punch me as he was falling over and it just clipped my nose in a way that my entire nose started pouring. It wasn't broken for some reason. So whatever blood vessel that was in there that was flipping in flame just popped and my nose started bleeding. So when you walked outside and you didn't know what happened, I had my hand over my face covering and my face was bloody and that guy just looked like he'd been beaten up. So I looked like I lost, but I don't think I did. Anyway, <laughs> I remember getting into so many fights in the street, many in clubs in the street. Some I won, some I didn't, some I didn't, some I won, some I lost. But what I remember is I never ran again. So I had to kind of get my get back from how embarrassing and how bitched I felt back in the day. So when I see DJ Academics, I can see somebody who is still feeling the embarrassment and the shame of being punked out by, who was that guy? Um, what's his name? The light-skinned dude on Everyday Struggle. He punked him out. I remember another time, who else did it? The whole Migos situation when he was like nervously twitching with the microphone when the Migos were going through that back and forth little thing with Joe Budden and he said, let's end it. And they all stood up together like flipping Power Rangers and said, I'm buttoning their blouses like they're going to ready to fight and whatnot. And obviously, for his career, he has some other things, but those are the main things face to face that he's had where it's been proven that we've been able to see 
that academics is a bit of a p word right it's just is what it is it's not a bad thing i don't think everyone is put on this earth to be a fire or to be tough but clearly he's not that guy so because he's not that guy and he's covering a very uh you know uh machismo alpha male type um genre in where a lot of people want to let their nuts hang he's trying to reassert dominance and remind people no i'm a man also and i'm also get you know ready to get down but unfortunately for him i feel like all this barking and shouting on the internet is never going to get your get back he needs to what academics needs to do like i did just get into fights with random people he, he needs to meet up with somebody whether it's a little baby who's going back and forth. I think he's made up with Mick Mill, but his, his recent opponents have been little baby, little Zay Osama. He had some beef with recently. Um, who else he had some beef with? Beef with. I think that's it, right? And obviously Blueface, but he needs to meet some of these people up, meet them up and just throw down and hope and definitely record it, put it up online. Even if he loses, he needs to be able to fight, not run, not do anything and just, you know, scrap, get down with it and keep it moving. So people know, okay, cool. Academics maybe can't fight, but at least he's ready to, to meet up and get down. And then maybe he can, you know, be able to kind of carry on without feeling this internal shame. Because I feel like this is what's coming through. And I feel like he made a very grave mistake by picking someone like Blueface because from what we've seen of Blueface, from the times he has been scrapping outside and from the pictures of him fighting in the gym and boxing and from him beating up flipping Sean's dad and whatnot. Of, no, was it his dad or Sean's dad? I don't know who that... Yeah, it must have been Sean's dad. I think so. In that Zeus series he's doing and just scrapping in general, he's down to scrap. I think Blueface has been in way more fights than probably, you know, academics has had Happy Meals. Like, this guy has come from the gutter. He may be a bit of a joke now and he may be a bit cringy and embarrassing things that he's doing considering how talented musically he is. But let's not deny the guy can definitely fight. So now it looks like academics doesn't want to fight Blueface or wanting to fight everybody else that he thought he could get the win on. So it goes back to prove that, you know, he's suffering from this crisis identity. And I think it's absolutely hilarious. But anyway, he went through a back and forth with Blueface. This is courtesy of No Jumper. His dear academics responds to Blueface after Blue called him out for a one-on-one -on -one fight. So Axe said to Blueface, I got 5k per nigga who fucked Blueface girl, Craig Sean, because I think Blueface said that Craig Sean, the, the girl that he's with, announced that she's pregnant. He said it's not his, that she was messing around with 10 other guys before, or 10 other guys while they were, to, they were together. So it's probably one of their guys. And obviously, Axe is now using that as a stick to beat him with, which is a bit strange, but hey, it is what it is. Um, if fuck Blueface girl who down to get on my Twitch stream breaking it down and how it happened, which is very messy, very sus. It continues DNA test included. Fuck Maury, big app for the do paternity test for that broke ass nigga Blueface. I'm pledging 50k for this effort. Who got Blueface girls pregnant? That's the that's the real top level cornery there, isn't it? 50k you're willing to spend to prove that Blueface's girl had sex with other men is very strange. We continue. It says 10 niggas piped down Blueface's girl and she's still taking Henny bottles to the head. Clown, get your manhood back before you talk to me. 10 niggas. And he wrote 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 to 10. Um, uh, you nigger, number 11. She got your kid. Answer that. Wow, okay. He says Blueface said 10 niggas fucked his girl in the last year and she still dropped a video on him eating that nasty snatch. Own up to your responsibilities. You finna be on child support, Blueface. Get your manhood back from your girl which is funny because I think he needs to get his man back from Vic Mensa. So I think that's the guy I, was, I, was, I didn't remember. Vic Mensa punked him out. And um, it continues, fight the 10 niggas who piped your girl first and the girl who keeps beating your ass and I'm 100% down. MMA shit. So he wants Blueface to fight 10 people who he doesn't know for having sex relationship with his girl at the time, who knows, then he'll fight him. So like, what? How does that even make any sense? I'm going to buy your foreclosure house and kick you and your child and the mother of your child out. And the 10 niggas she done fucked. Okay, that's when you know you want to fight then, isn't it? When you start talking about the mother of your kids and stuff, that's like, okay, you need to relax. And of course, Blueface responded and said as following here. He said, um, we, all know, we all know when a nigga turning a fade down and Ak is clearly turning the beats um, the, best down, the best way that he know how to. Ak want to get me to fight a female instead of him at 31 years of age. Give it up, bro. Squabble up or shut up which is definitely something I feel like most people should be doing. Less back and forth. So if you want to fight, get down. That's probably one reason why I was getting annoyed with Kanye too. Where he was going through his thing of like airing people out on Instagram and all that sort of nonsense. I was like, hold on. If I'm some of these people, like these Tremaines and them lot, who he was going out and making nicknames for and designing merch for, I would have just said, you know what? Like, let's just fight. 
But you saw what happened with Kanye when he started beefing with or squabbling with flipping Diddy online. He started do being doing mad police shit. I'm gonna call the police if anything happens to me. It was Diddy. Blah blah blah. Like nah nah nah. You can't be talking all this smack talk trying to antagonize me i want to fight and then suddenly now you're trying to call police and start to play like the victim i hate that shit no back and forth because men don't usually do that anyway we're not really good at back and forth and engaging in that nonsense it kind of is beneath us don't do the back and forth chill let's squabble up and meet up and get it out the way and just continue on with our lives the next slide it says um nigger said mma he must want to wrestle or some lol because act for sure can't throw no kicks with his fat ass the jokes niggas always use the bitch ass cop out to sound like a bitch ass nigger to me it continues Axe was in a committed relationship with selena powell very true come on cuz you really want to talk about a bitch bro Axe is offering 5k to 10 niggas to take the fade for him i must be the big bad wolf or something because he's so gangster for little baby true and I think Blueface even said, I'll take the fade for Lil Baby. Like, Lil Baby what, way the fade. You didn't want it or something didn't happen and the commission broke down, but it didn't happen and now he'll take it. And clearly now, from what I last heard of Act talking on his podcast, I think he mentioned it here, actually, on his pod. Let me play if I can see if I can play it. I think it mentions it here. Let's see if I can get it out loud so you can hear it here on his podcast. I've got my phone. Of course. Um, 10 Jake, thank you to... Um Everybody who donated, fuck. I should just shout you guys out, right? God damn. Somebody said, act. You changed. Let Jake slide on him snitching in 2012. What are you talking about in 2012? It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up now. Let, let Jake bear slide with me, on bear him. Bear me. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Somebody said, yo, you were down to fight baby for free. Now it's five million from that. Baby's hot, my nigga. First of all, didn't I tell you I pick and choose? Nigga, when Meek was like one of the top rappers, nigga, I was down for that too. Bro, we're talking about an irrelevant nigga, bro. The irrelevant, the, the, you, you know, I pulled up the stats. Irrelevancy. Nah, nah. I'm trying to see what I could gain from it. Nah. I'm sorry, my nigga. Nah. My job is creating content and doing all this shit. I'm oh, now it's my job. With the name on the deed, nigga, just like scrapping with niggas in the alleyway for free. Especially a nigga who's fucking irrelevant. Boo. He was relevant enough to argue with back and forth. The moment he calls you out to fight, you don't want it. But personally, for me anyway, to end this whole segment, I feel like I can identify with Ak because I can I know what that shame and that embarrassment of being regarded as a pussy can do to a man. But I got my lick back. I got my pride back by fighting random people in the street, like Asian dudes in cars who I clean. And again, I was in the wrong for situations. The fight I had in that bar in Yellow by one time with those two boxers that lit me up, I was in the wrong. I'm pretty sure. I spilled something on them. I didn't want to say sorry. I decided to act tough and decided to want to fight boxers and got lit up. I still fought there anyway. The stuff with the Asian guy in the car, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that crossed without looking. He beeped like, hey, re relax, watch where you're going. I kicked his car, which I shouldn't have done. And then we start, and then he got in my face and I punched him straight away. We started squabbling. I was in the wrong. And any number of fights outside of that. I'm sure I started it. I'm the instigator. But I had to get my lick back. As a man, I had to. And if some dad had to suffer, and now he's sitting at home with a brain hemorrhage, wondering why this random black guy had a fight with him in the middle of a Morrison's, I'm sorry, but I had to get my get back. I had to get it back. And I think every man goes through that. But I think you have to go and get it back instead of barking and woofing all over the flipping internet. It just doesn't work, in my opinion. Even if you lose, it doesn't matter if you win or lose in these situations because you can't win or lose. You just have to be, you just have to be willing to go through the pain of being in a fight you know, having the possibility of you losing and getting your ass kicked, but also knowing well in yourself that, you know what, I did my best. You know, I kind of got, I kind of got my get back. I set things right with me personally in terms of pride. And now I'm in a position where I can go forward with life. I can continue on. I can look forward to things. I can be happy again. <laughs> the sun is shining bright now. I can enjoy the cold breeze upon my face because I know I got my get back because I know I got my get back.